I just got these two antique photo albums and they arrived in the mail and I'm going to start out by showing you one first and it'll be the smaller one which is the brown leather bound one which is from the 1860s and look how cool these books are. These uh, are Victorian and quite old. The leather bound one is quite intricate. As you can see it has raised panels, gold gilded edge leaf papers or pages and um, the clip unfortunately is missing the clip that held it shut this one's clip is still intact which is quite amazing and I'm going to begin by showing you the 1860s one first and it's uh, pretty much European it doesn't want to stay open and um, from what I've seen, I pulled only like one or two of the cards out and it said something with, uh, had a pho photography studios logo, something to do with Germany. So an American uh, person got a hold of this somehow, unless they immigrated to America. This one has a little bit of wear and it's quite interesting. It has some information written in script, but it's very hard to make out. I don't know if it's French or in German. That's really a cool image. Um, what I like about it is generally when you see 1860s photo portraits, you don't see a full shot of ladies. So you really can't see how intricate and beautiful their dresses were. And a lot of the photos in this book actually show full portrait shots of the ladies so you can see their dresses. And I really, really am amazed by these pictures. This lady has really lovely hair and this is quite a nice pose as you can see. And here's another full length shot. And it has some information written. And that's fun. If you like to do research, that's a lot of fun when you have some information that you could look up. So it gives you hours of uh, solving mysteries, as I like to say. And here's uh, more nice photographs. This one's really unique. She almost looks like the Mona Lisa, an 1860s version of the Mona Lisa. And her dress is really quite extravagant. There's a nice pattern on it. And the background is really, really pretty as well. That looks like a German style dress. It's like the lederhosen type uh, vest top. She has intricate hairstyle. The background's really uh, unique as, as it looks very European. Here's another distinguished, uh, distinguished gentleman or dapper man as I like to call them. And there is some info written here as well. It's just very hard to make out because the penmanship is a little too fancy for me. And uh, it looks like the person wrote very quickly. So I don't know what it says. I'll have to get a magnifying glass and really look at it to try to decipher it. This is really a cool dress. Let me see what's in her hair. Pretty, pretty lovely. Here's a bunch of guys hanging out. This is another nice full shot. Let me see any, um, looking for more information. I don't see any.
And let's see what it says here. Something about Hamburg. I believe Hamburg, Germany. Any other info? I'm trying to look for it. Here's a mother and child. She has a really unique looking headdress on the top of her head. And it's another uh, full length shot. We have some info here. Again, it looks like Hamburg, maybe Hamburg, Germany. Sorry for that sound. I'm getting notifications as we speak. This is great. This is really a nice dress. It may have been made out of taffeta as it has like what seems to be a sheen. Wow, getting a lot of notifications. I'm not popular normally, but the minute I do a video, I become popular. <laughs> Here's a bunch of guys hanging out, just horsing around. The guy on the right has an impish little grin. <laughs> that guy has a cigar in his mouth. So that looks like a little boys club. We have another full length shot here of a lady with a gothic looking chair. My goodness, she barely has any waist, as you can see. Here's a full length shot of a gentleman. It looks like we have some info here. I wish the person that wrote that had better penmanship. Unfortunately, they had chicken scratch. Maybe they were a doctor. She's holding something in her hand. Looks like flowers. She's wearing fingerless gloves. Wow, this is really a great picture. Um, it looks hand tinted. Now, mind you, they didn't have colored photographs back then. So this is really, really spectacular. You can see like some kind of mauves and lavender color um, along with gold colored jewelry. Her cheeks are tinted, her lips are tinted. Now that was a spectacular job that this photographer studio did. So it can give us a really good idea of what uh, a colorized photo of the time would look like. And it has info. It's hard to make out. That's a sensational looking dress. And we have some more info here. I think that says Prussia. I'm unsure though. Our doctor was at it again, it appears, with his chicken scratch. Looks like she's uh, got a hat. She's got really uh, great jewelry. It looks like she has a cameo brooch um, by her neck. And a wonderful dress with a cape. Oh, and we have info. Can't make it out, unfortunately.
I don't see any info on that page. And we're almost coming to the end. Unfortunately, we're missing a photo here. And we have an elderly gentleman. Get some more info. Another notification, oh boy. And a couple more left and uh, this video will be over. Thanks for uh, sticking around. She's holding uh, what appears to be possibly a Bible or some kind of book. She has a great pattern on her dress. And there is information. Looks like Belle Dunn. And I can't make out what it says below that. Churchill, maybe? Does it say Churchill? Can't. Can't tell. And we have this guy here. And the last page, we have this gentleman here. And some info. Too bad I can't make it out. And that's the end of it. So that's the end of our photo album extravaganza video. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And um, I'll do a video shortly showing you uh, the other one in the burgundy. And uh, it has a lot, a lot, a lot of 1870s, 1880s photographs in it. Um, unsure if it's from the same family. It may be from the same family because um, it came from the same seller. And so this may be two generations of families. So thanks for watching and have a great evening or day, wherever you are in the world.